Researchers in the Father Sean O'Sullivan Research Center, the largest of our five research pillars, have been making headlines this past year. In late 2022, St. Joe's ophthalmology researchers, led by Dr. Varun Chaudhry, announced a grant from the Juravinsky Research Institute that will support Canada's first and largest scale vision loss study into age-related macular degeneration, the leading cause of blindness in Canadians aged 55 and older. The Hamilton Regional Eye Institute and its research unit are based at St. Joe's King Campus. A team of researchers specializing in pain management, led by Dr. Harsha Shanthana, published new evidence-based guidelines that aim to improve the outcomes and efficacy of spinal cord stimulation for pain management through improved patient selection. This technology uses an electric current to modulate nerve activity within the spinal column, often used in place of a pharmacological approach. The Three Wishes Project, which began in the Critical Care Unit of St. Joe's Charlton Campus, recognized 10 years of transforming end-of-life care in the ICU. It has since spread across North America, the United Kingdom, and beyond. In January of this year, the federal government announced funding for two critical care research projects at St. Joe's. Dr. Deborah Cook was awarded an additional $1.9 million towards an $8 million trial re-evaluating the downstream effects of prophylaxis for stress ulcers in 4,800 critically ill patients. This international study is the largest Canadian-led global trial in the history of critical care research. And Dr. Kimberly Lewis was awarded a $3.7 million grant to conduct the INDEX trial, an international multi-center trial focused on non-invasive ventilation in critically ill patients. In 2021, the Constantine Duquetis New Researcher Award supported a pilot study that led to the larger INDEX trial. A SOPHIE grant is supporting a 12-month project that will see Dr. Mike Noseworthy and imaging scientist Norm Conyer collaborating with preoperative performance. They aim to test and evaluate the company's novel imaging technology on their research MRI systems. Ultimately, their goal is to co-develop an optimized product to enable neuroradiologists to assess quality and consistency of their MRI systems diffusion imaging protocols, which has never been achievable in the past. Rehabilitation researchers at St. Joe's were awarded two grants that will be used to inform the launch of a multi-center international trial of in-bed cycling with critically ill, mechanically ventilated patients, as well as accelerate the knowledge translation work of the cycle team's primary research. And in August, a team of McMaster researchers including Dr. Andrew Costa, Scientific Director of St. Joseph's Center for Integrated Care, Dr. Don Bowdish, and others found that rather than conferring immunity against future infections, an infection during the first Omicron wave of COVID-19 left seniors they studied more vulnerable to reinfection during the second Omicron wave. Their study appeared in eClinical Medicine, an open access journal published by The Lancet. This is just a taste of the broad research that happens within the Father Sean O'Sullivan Research Center.